Almost as uncommon homemade bombs here in the Rogue Valley, but these days with the internet, you can find practically anything that you're looking for. NBC5's Nicole Stein spoke with local law enforcement about the threat of the unknown and joins us live with more. Nicole? Craig, Kristen, potential bomb cases always go to Oregon State Police Bomb Squad, but local police still have to stay educated on how to deal with them. That's scary stuff. That's showing that people are actually trying to hurt others. Medford Police Lieutenant Mike Boudreau says homemade bombs are becoming more frequent than ever, thanks to so much information being readily available on the Internet. Internet, YouTube, social media, where people could talk about this and demonstrate how they can make bombs with stuff you could just buy at the store or even homemade chemicals. The tough thing when it comes to explosive devices, you never know what it looks like. And that fear is always there. Jackson County Sheriff Corey Falls says with the information out there and so easily accessible, it's difficult for law enforcement. It's a changing world and what does uh, you know these different devices look like? How do you prepare for the unknown is something that uh, law enforcement has to address. But police have adapted. They're now using the information found online and the people who talk about it to their own advantage and identify people who could pose a potential threat. And don't forget our special two-part series on OSP's Explosives Unit is coming up in just a few minutes. We'll take you inside their Southern Oregon training facility and give you a rare and up-close look at the work they do every day. Live in Newsroom, Nicole Stein, NBC5 News.